These supersized traffic robots have been manning traffic in downtown Kinshasa for five years. The city, like many African capitals, has unruly traffic. And it's visible on many cars. Also, quite often, motorists spend hours in traffic jams. In 2013, just two robots were installed to test how effective they could be. The result has been astounding. Motorists love them. The robot has helped ease the flow of traffic, but there are a few times when it malfunctions. That's when police officers come in handy. By and large, it has helped improve traffic. The robot is more effective. It's always monitoring traffic, unlike some traffic officers who become lax when tired and those who like extorting bribes from us. The robots are built locally. Several of them have now been installed at traffic junctions here in Kinshasa and major cities like Goma and Lubumbashi. Therese Ize is the brain behind the innovation. She had designed the robots to solve Kinshasa's traffic problems, but success here has now gotten her looking beyond the local market. We are ready to supply our technology to other countries. We want to expand our market share and we are only waiting for orders from other African countries. We have already signed a contract with authorities in the Central African Republic and are set to sign one with officials in Gabon and Congo Brazzaville. They all want to transfer our technology to their countries. A robot like that one over there costs about $25,000. It's a huge cost compared to the measly paid traffic officers in the DRC. But the designers say that the cost makes up for the human failings, like lapses and the extortion of money from motorists. Plus, the robots are fitted with cameras, so they provide real-time video feed of all traffic violations to a central terminal controlled by security agents. The idea is traffic offenders can then be tracked for prosecution. Chris Ochamringa, CGTN, Kinshasa, Democratic Republic of Congo.